Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Lisa Maran Puspitasari My student number ID is 2019-014 And here's I take my note on my laptop Because to make sure that there's no something that I left So yeah After several meetings uh, between social linguistic, pragmatics, and syntax I am interested with uh, social linguistic. I am interested to talk about social linguistic. The reason why I am interested with it, it is like a study that uh, deals mostly with the language used, like the particular spoken language, but not the grammatical and like you know like the ph- or phonetic structure or something like that. And yeah, like I always curious about this, like uh, for example how. Uh, people in the B area and C area is different when they talk in the particular words or phrase like how it comes and how are they are how can they pronounce it like a different something like that and so it is basically a connection between language and society so social linguistic is a connection between a language and mm, society I still remember quite that in the, um, uh, that there was on the memo job PPT, if I'm not mistaken, that our culture and thought determine our language, so does our social background. That's good quote that I uh, mentioned here. And <clears throat> social linguistic come from from the word socio and linguistic. So social itself is like a humanity or a human or people or something like the surroundings of the human and linguistic is language so when it uh, combined it is like a human language or something like that in the social linguistic itself there are many of topics there are dialects, jargon, register, slang, world, English term of address, language and gender, language and identity and etc but I'm not gonna explain all of those topics but here I will mention two topics that I will explain based on my interests with so I am interested with dialects and language and gender because it is interesting for me and we can um, meet in our daily so yeah I'm interested with with this so dialect is a variety of particular language which is used by a particular group of speakers that is signaled by systematic markers such as syntactical, phonological, grammatical markers. So dialect which are normally found in the speech community may be in the forms of regional dialects and social dialect. For example, like American characters speak normally, but the Indian characters might speak in dialect for the word uh, I'll get the checks, I'll get the check For American, they can say uh, I'll get the check, like normal But in Indian, I don't say it's, it's unnormal, but uh, it's like a different Yeah, it's different because of their maybe nenek moyang, something like that uh, Indian people say will say I'll get a check. I'll get a check. Something like that. So it's 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 the same phrase, but it's a different pronunciation. That's yeah. So yeah, and this is refreshing the experience and tries to get us to hear how a normal American accent sounds to someone from another culture. Like in Indonesia, we have Java and Bali, or another uh, island, other island with. And Bali, they will different when they say tempe, tapi, tutup, doctor, something with T word. Java will say tempe, but Bali will say tempe. Mm, another example, uh, Java or mm, Kalimantan will say tapi, doctor, but. Uh, Bali will say tapi or dokter like T words is like stress word in English word but it's not but it's actually from their culture so like that and language and gender 
it referred to the relationship between the language and male and female uh, gender difference is not only a reflection the speeches between male and female but also a reflection of their different living style and attitude jadi tidak hanya kayak dialog tadi uh, tentang spoken language nya tapi juga tentang kayak misalnya Uh, kehidupan female ini dengan uh, male ini berbeda gitu for instance wait a minute males are more concerned with power they deserve to be leaders while female are satisfied with their subordinate status like i i don't say like most uh i don't slap all of the uh female or male but mostly they do that like males speak directly and they transfer information as the first thing but females speak indirectly implicitly and really we can uh, meet we can see it every uh, not every day we can see it like in the remaja in indonesia like there is a word apa namanya word code code jadi kalau biasanya itu di sini apa biasanya remaja-remaja yang Yeah, they have a relationship with their boyfriend or girlfriend. They will like code code or something like. Most of them are female yang ngode. Jadi itu sebagian daripada language and gender. And intonation. Females prefer to rise in tone even in declarative sentence, so their uncertainty and decisions have been revealed by rising tone. Jadi intonasi itu juga. Uh, ketara banget antara male and female tidak semuanya cuman mostly they do that so yeah so joke telling and humor the language of female likes of humor they speak less humorously than males female inherently are not good at putting humor and understanding humor is not all of them but mostly like that so yeah i can say that and so in the end i am really interested with linguistic research as social linguistic and psycholinguistic for sure i've been curious i've been curious about how can i say a word how can i choose the word how the language come from like but for sure probably i will take linguistic as my thesis <laughs> because it is interesting for me like yeah it, it, it is interesting then so yeah that's a bit about social linguistic oh my god it's like nine min- eight minutes I'm sorry ma'am but yeah uh, thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh